Hello, all of you vainglorious wonderful people, and welcome back to Astroneer, where I think we are getting very, very near to the center of Aatrox. I'm pretty sure this is the last level. Um, I could be wrong. Um, what I hope will happen in this video is that we'll activate the gateway engine, uh, get the last triptych, uh, but also... I don't know. It, it, it was in a live stream already, so I'm not really spoiling anything. But there's a really cool, like, cutscene for the game at the end. I mean, it's not it's not game over. You you continue, but there is a cutscene that happens uh, when you go to the satellite and drop in the last triptych, um, and it's very very cool. Um, and I'm hoping that all happens in this video. It might be the next one though. Not 100% sure. So let's get this opened up so we can see what we're dealing with. Probably could have done this with the rover, but it's alright. We're here, we're on foot. We may as well just stay on foot for now. And then I'll probably have to go recharge, though, before we start building the ramp down. Because this is probably going to eat up my batteries opening all of this up. Three canisters are full, so we've got plenty of ramp building materials here. I'd like to just get to these walls, but ooh, did I just see? I could have swore I saw something purple. I think it was just the way my uh, soil extractor was bouncing off. Yeah, let's fill up the battery before we start building the ramp. So we'll do that real fast. All right, here we go. You know, everybody's wanting them to build big things like you know an extra large rover and an extra large shuttle and all this stuff. I want something really small. I want a portable RTG that fits in a single slot in my backpack and can power um, a drill mod, an augment, and all of that um, off of the RTG without having to carry any other power sources. That it can even run a portable oxygenator. So that way you can just turn on the oxygenator and drill and go to the center. It should have a massive, huge cost, though. Like, you know, it should require like 5,000, maybe even 7,500 bytes. You know, because RTG is on its own is really expensive. I don't remember how many bytes it is. You know, and it should take quite a few resources to build it. Like, you know, a lot of lithium or something. You know, I don't, I don't really know, but I would like to have it. I think it'd be a great addition to the game. In fact, I think I will email that to System Era. Be like, hey, here's a thing I think would be really cool if we had in the game. Because then, think about it. I mean, that would be a late game item. Um, you know, so you wouldn't, you know, get it early and then just be able to shortcut a lot of the stuff. You'd still have to do a lot because you'd need a lot of research and everything for it. But I would, I mean, it would just come in handy doing this instead of having to constantly run back to the rover for, for recharging my batteries because I don't have enough power to run the oxygenator. I, mean, I do have the generator as a backup, and the wind turbine occasionally works, but not often. You know, so it, I think that would just be so cool. A portable RTG. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being lazy. Batteries are almost dead. Is my oxygen low? That's why I just heard an oxygen tank empty as well. Batteries are dead. Awesome. I don't understand why the batteries are draining just to build like that. The drill is not supposed to be active when you're putting out soil. Maybe I need to switch it off the... I don't have an empty spot to switch it off of, though. I guess I could drop that extra bit of organic that I have, but... To see, it's when it's there, it's active. If you put it on any of the three slots on your uh, train gun, I always forget what it's called. Extractor? Soil extractor? I don't know. Um, it uses power if it's green, but it, if you're just, if you're not drilling, if you're just building, I don't know, to me, it seems like it used to not do that. Maybe I'm just misremembering, as they say. And by they, I mean people who don't know how to English very well, because that's not how you say that. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're getting close to a wall, and I'm hoping that we can just get the rover down here and punch through this wall. I'm going to see how thick it is real quick. 
because this is going to eat battery really fast to go through this. Uh, it's not very thick, though, so never mind. Yeah, it wouldn't have been worth it to bring the rubber down here. We would have gotten on and gotten right back off, so that's fine. We'll just keep building manually, then. Oh, ramp's getting way too wide, though. I need to focus, which is more down. That This way it looks more down than to the side. I don't know if you've noticed by what I mean with more down. Sometimes, like, see, that almost looks like it's going up, or that definitely looks like it's going down, or is it just level? I leveled off. Ooh, I have. I've leveled off. When did that happen? Oops. So I almost run off the side here. Okay, well, this is going to be higher than that. No, this is... Okay, this is lower. Okay. Somewhere I picked the wrong angle and leveled off. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. That's a huge amount. All right, well, we'll fix it. All right, problem solved. We're going down now for sure. Oh, I wasted a lot of battery doing that, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, here's an edge. I'm hoping to catch, catch a glimpse of something purple in the distance. Not too far from now. But I just can't remember. I've only been to the Core of Aatrox once since they updated uh, the biomes. I was only there for a brief minute, just you know, long enough to kind of look around, see what's what. And see how pretty it was and all that good stuff. I didn't stay very long. Um, plus, that wasn't this version of Aatrox. It was a different Aatrox. Was, and each game you play has new procedurally generated um, planets. They're, I mean, they're all still the same characteristics, but they're all unique as well. If that makes any sense whatsoever. I don't know if I explained it very well. Just peek down there. Do I see anything purple? Uh, yeah, I really thought this was going to be the last level. Well, the battery's nearly dead. I am getting a little bit of wind power, but not enough. So I'm going to go back up here and recharge again. Oh, I'm also nearly out of oxygen. And then we'll go and continue the ramp. Gosh, the echo in here. Like When I pull out the gun and put it away, listen to this. That's a crazy echo. That's awesome. I love it. I think I can almost go a little steeper with this ramp, but I hate to adjust the angle without the rover, because then, I, I don't know, it's just... The rover makes such a nice, perfect bit, but this just looks like this is... I feel like I'm flat here. I just don't feel like I'm going down enough. Let's angle off of this right here. And see if that's too steep. Let's fix this. This is ugly. Let's extend it out. No, it's not too steep. It'll be fine. Oh, there's the floor down there. Cool. Let's make it thicker up here, and then we'll fix the transition. So I hit that with the rover. If the rover gets going too fast, it'll kick it way up in the air. Because gravity is definitely, definitely changed here. So just find the spot that these two meet nicely. Quit it. Quit jumping up like that. I don't know why the astronauts do that. There we go. That's a nice transition there. Yeah. And then continue going down off of this. One canister nearly empty. Now it is empty. I might be able to get over to this wall, but I don't think they're very thick. I think it's pretty thin wall. I mean, I'm definitely going to get to it because I'm lighting it up, but I don't know if it's going to be worth bringing the rover over here. I mean, I could bring it, the rover closer and just park it up against the wall that I don't drill through. I mean, that might be a thing I could do. I don't think it'll slide down. I don't know. It might do. Let's see what this looks like here. Did we punch through that really fast? Yeah. I mean, I could make a spot for the rover, like, right here, though. Let's do that. Because we're running low on battery and oxygen again. So let's make a nice little spot for the rover to sit over here. Like, right there. 
we'll park the rover. We'll go get it. That way it's down here closer and I don't have to run as far. Um, and that'll save us some time. Because this is a pretty significant jaunt here. I mean, yeah, I was say he's. I was gonna say he's gonna start complaining about being out of oxygen in just a second, and sure enough, as I was getting ready to say that, it happened. So there we go, oxygen battery. We'll drive down there and park, um, and then continue on foot because I know it's just open on that side. Go slow, rover, please. Go straight, please. There you go. Slow, slow. It's wanting to speed up. Like, I'm riding the brakes hard. I don't know if you hear me clicking the the left trigger on my controller or not. Alright, so that little place I made for the rover is just up here, but I want to open this up a little bit. So, I'm going to bring the rover out and see where we're going, but be careful not to drill through there. And then this is where I made it a little more steep we're aiming to the left and because the hole is to the right just go slow and be careful I almost backed all the way up off of it I just I'm overly cautious I know I am but I just don't want to have to rescue the rover or my or my stuff if I die that's that's why whoa that is why I'm always so cautious with this. All right, let's open this up because I'm tethered off the rover right now. Don't go any farther than that, though, because the rover will fall. There we go. That's a nice big opening there. Yep, nice. Um, okay, so if I peek off this way, anything purple? Nope. Anything purple off this direction? And no, there is one of those, a couple of those plants down here. But that's all that I see. Nothing purple. Really thought this was going to be our last layer. Hmm. Well, here we go. Continue down. So much for zigzagging. I mean, I guess I could level off here and turn around. But I'm not gonna anything I'll just make it steeper if it starts getting too flat on me because the closer you get to the core the quicker it does flatten out like see it's already starting to flatten some in fact see look at that that was a steep angle and now if you look I mean that way it's not nearly as steep I'm gonna continue it but it's definitely not as steep as it was. So weird how that works. That's just black void up ahead. Which means there's probably a wall up there. And that's why I'm not seeing any light coming through. Am I out of soil? Alright, well, we'll get soil near the rover. And that way we're tethered. Filling up oxygen and battery slowly. Wow, that's not a very thick wall either. Holy cow. And hopefully we'll run into purple soon. I, I could have sworn this was the last layer. That this was the color of the last layer. It's going to take a minute to fill up these canisters since I can't dig in front of the rover. But that's fine. We'll get them full. Wait, how was I out of soil? Oh, okay. I see. It's filling that one first. Okay. So I need to hear that noise two more times. I thought it filled the other two first. I was mistaken in the order that they went. Hmm. So apparently the one on the extractor goes last and then fills first. Who knew? Just don't want to get too close to the rover because I don't want to cause it to glitch through the terrain. There's the second canister full. So we should be able to get a third one pretty quick with this drill that we're using. Did I really step off? Am I getting off the tether and back on? Is that what's happening here? Nah, it's just the batteries are right at their full level. There we go. Canisters are all now full. All three of them. Yep. Batteries are full, so we'll go continue the ramp into the 
darkness here. Yeah, there's a wall up there. Got that echo. I, I don't know why I whispered just there, but it's so cool. Even though, you know, the stereo imaging's all off in this game, it's still a really cool echo. Yep, there's a wall right there. Okay, that's why it was so dark, just as I thought. So we'll get down to here, and let's get rid of this guy. He should just disappear. Pretty quick. Or not, because he's in the ramp, one of the two. Oh, there he goes. Alright, how thick is this wall, I wonder? Is this rover material here? Possibly. I mean, we're nowhere near the cave floor yet. I mean, well, we're getting closer. Nope, not rover material. Very thin wall. So sad. I mean, how close are we to the floor here? Oh, it's still a ways down there, actually. Okay. But I think I've flattened off again. Yeah, I've definitely flattened off. So once I open this up, I'm going to angle back down some. Hopefully there'll be something I can just angle off of nicely. Just get this nice and wide. So I can see what I'm doing. God, it is so dark down here. I mean, where there's a cavern, there's just, you know, a little bit of faint light. But man, those walls are just like the freaking abyss. And I just keep looking around hoping to see purple stuff, and I don't. I don't even see the last biome yet. I, I know what it looks like, and we haven't gotten there yet. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to try to angle down. Let's have anything to angle off of nicely. Yeah, right there. Um, Actually, right here. Yeah, that'll work. I don't think that's too steep, is it? Nope, that's perfect. There we go. That gets us going more down than we were going. More down. Jesus, the stuff I say. You'd be surprised how hard it is to narrate or commentate and play at the same time. Like your brain, it's just like it's like, no, nah, let's let's not do that. Let's let's just do one thing at a time. Just decide. Damn it. Ah. Uh, oh well, the rover's not too far away. I don't think God, it's really hard to see even where my path is. Jeez. There's the rover. We'll recharge, refill the oxygen, and continue it again in a minute. All right, let's get back down here to where we were. No, it's just over this edge somewhere. We go and continue our ramp. Do we get there? We go. For a minute, it wasn't connecting. It sounds like I just emptied a canister, so it means I'm probably down to just one. But the one on the gun is empty, so it fills them in a different order than it empties them. Interesting. Don't know why that's interesting, but it is interesting. I am just perpetually nervous that there's like. Some sort of deadly plant just below me. It's gonna just derail this whole thing. Because if I die, it'd be my luck. He would spin off the edge and I'd have to go down and recover my equipment without a drill. Because I don't have a backup drill for anything. For me, for the rover, nothing. I'd literally have to go back to the top, go back to Silva, make a new drill. I have canisters on Silva, tons of them. Really? Oh my god. Alright, well, we need to get rid of this thing anyway, so here we go. We're getting there, though. I mean, the floor isn't too far away, actually. It looks like it is, but it's not. What is that? That V shaped thing in the distance, I guess, it's just a rock formation. Looks like a creature. This planet is just creepy, man. just unbelievably unnerving everything about it even the music is like it plays the danger music a lot of times which the uh, music for that uh, thousand hydrogen explosion I did was just one of the danger songs from Astroneer's soundtrack 
uh, with a massive amount of reverb added in. And that's all I did to it. It was just to make it a little more haunting than it already was. Let's put that, like, I think I set it to, like, orchestra chamber or something like that for reverb. And just let it go to town through Adobe Audition. We are a little low on oxygen. Uh, and our batteries are dead. So, recharge. Back up we go. Man, it's taking forever. I don't know why I turned like that. But at least this time we have light walking up here and I can see where I'm going. So, refill, recharge once again. Hooray! And the struggle continues. But the floor is just down there. I mean, I can, I can see it. You can see it too. So, we're close. And I. Surely this is the mantle. Well, no, because it doesn't have the mantle biome stuff in it. I don't think. I don't know. I don't remember what it looked like. I really don't. You can tell I'm getting impatient because I'm not building nearly as wide of a ramp. Is it wide enough for the rover? Oh, yeah, plenty wide enough for the rover. Yeah, there's the plant life on the floor, so. We are getting near the floor, but it seems like this is leveling off again, isn't it? Let's see. How up is that? Uh, maybe not. Okay. I'm, I'm safe to continue. I know I waste oxygen every time I do that. It's okay. I have three minutes of oxygen. And, of course, the oxygenator. Oh, this is definitely... See, we're going back up now, look. Yeah, we're definitely going back up. Yes, that looks... As we get here, that's higher now. So we need to level that off, but I have no soil to do so. So, dig out some soil. That's also going to drain the battery, so we may as well go where the rover is and do this. Man, I'm just not getting very far at all on Aatrox. It's just taking forever. Thought I saw a glimpse of purple through the edge there. Nope, it was just the way the light was playing with the shadows. So, how you doing, Rover? I don't think there's much soil left over by you to dig out, is there? Go right here. That's it. It gets somewhat thicker. So I can dig this. It would let me a nice thick wall. So all three canisters were empty, so we have to fill all three of them up. The oxygen is now filled up, and the one battery's full, and the other one's just sitting there because I'm using the drill right now. Um, filled up one canister. Gotta be careful how close we dig to that rover. He says as he digs really close to the rover, that's because I want to get closer to this wall. And dig where we know it's nice and meaty. So that I can actually reach all the way back there and dig, dig, dig. There's two canisters full. Battery's slowly charging. Very, very slowly. Oh, good, the wind turbine's turning, so I'm actually now making a bit more power myself on the backpack, so that will help. Should be getting close to that third canister full here. What I'd really like to get close to is the freaking floor of this cave, so I can bring the rover down. There we go. Three canisters full, batteries full, so down we go. We could run... I can't adjust the camera. There we go. Wasn't letting me zoom out. I like to be zoomed out a little bit when I'm just traveling. Hmm, no bump could be an issue. I have to be careful when we drive the rover down here. I have built quite the ramp here, though. All right, so we know that it looks like it starts going back up. Even though from here it looks like it's down. Once we get down to it, it looks like it's up. So I need to angle off again just enough to get us to that floor um is that too steep no that'll be fine but i do need to fix it so the rover can get over that nicely 
which we'll do by just making this a little longer. What did I just see off to the side? I do you believe it was a deadly plan? Let me go peek over the edge in just a second here. Yes. But he's far enough away to not worry about him. So now let's fix this. Just make a nice smooth transition between the two. I don't know if you guys spot that stuff, like the deadly plants, before I do, or when I do, or what. But I'm always on the lookout for them. Ever since that one on Visanya during the live stream that just caught me off guard. And it was one of the ones that shoots explosives, so it actually did a little damage to the ramp we had built. A little, not a lot, but it was, you know... Since I'm solo here, it, it's not easily fixed. The other two people that I was with were out of the range of it. I think it didn't kill me, but it was still, you know, a, a risk. It could have caused big, big problems. All right, here is the floor. Have these weird tentacle-looking freaking stalagmites. All right, that gets us to this floor here, which I don't think I have a point to really level off of, do I? As I have the wrong tool and completely ruin any point I might have had. Leveling off, there we go, let's do that. I think this is the mantle biome we're in now. I know I thought we were there like a couple episodes ago, or maybe just one episode ago, but I think this is it right here. Uh, I am going to need to do this, though, to get rid of these guys, because they're going to be in the way. I know I'm just destroying my work, but they've got to go, because they're in the way. So we'll build this back in. Oh, God, I'm about out of oxygen. Alright, and the batteries are low. Crap. <laughs> this could be very bad. Because the rover is really far away. Some wind power right now would be very helpful. We've got some. Let's turn this off. Refill the battery a little bit. And then when he gets really close to being out of oxygen, we'll turn the oxygen back on. Like right now. There we go. That should get me back to the rover, which I can now bring down. Out of power, but I've got enough oxygen to get where I need to go. Oh yeah, it makes this really weird noise, by the way, if you have the oxygenator still turned on when you're connected to an oxygen source. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me what that's all about, but it's funky. So we'll get the rover down here and we'll wrap up this video. Um, and I'm pretty sure the next one will punch through. And I don't want the next one to be way too short. Got a little bit, oh, careful. And then this is where it goes down and then an angle so carefully drive over that there we go let it coast a bit but not too much because it gets away from you really quick when you're coasting i mean the brakes are super strong but once you get some speed they just won't stop you i get all i do see one of those stinky puffy plants down there but he's not anywhere near where we're gonna wind up because that ramp goes way past that, so that's okay. Thing is, once I get to the core, I'm going to have to go get tethers. Um, because I'm on my own, you know, and I don't know. I, I, I like having tethers because it helps me find my way back out. Because so I'm not leaving the rover here, even though it's the last planet. I'm not going to abandon my rover. But for now, we're going to come down here and park it. And then right here is where we will continue the Great Dig. I'm, this has got to be the final biome. I remember those big luminescent plants and a lot of luminescent dust and everything right above the core. So hopefully we're there. But we'll find out next time. Until then, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.